Data are coded information. Modern technologies are capable of analyzing substantial volumes of data at high speed. Patterns can be identified in big data. Relationships can be extrapolated and new insights can be gained. Data are what new business models are built on. Data can also be harnessed to promote general welfare. Take mobility data, for instance, which can be used to optimize the flow of traffic, and health data, which can be used to improve the way we treat diseases. For data to actually become available, we, as citizens, need to be willing to share ours. Data ecosystems worldwide are fueled by data, especially personal data. A prerequisite is the disclosure of personal data and this decision process is analyzed by our projects and we especially analyze the regulatory and cultural settings determining this process. We analyze eight different countries worldwide, their respective regulatory and cultural settings, and try to compare the different countries, try to compare the different cultural and regulatory settings, and how the individual decision processes do take place. We do that with an interdisciplinary team, um, and we analyze the process from different angles, from a legal perspective, a perspective of the cultural sciences and the perspective of business information systems. Data disclosure is often difficult to predict because personality factors can play a role, socio-demographic factors like age, gender and education. The cultural context is important as well as the actual data disclosure scenario. And then there is a couple of factors that can influence whether people are willing to share their data in specific situations. For example, perceived benefits and risks, data sensitivity, trust in the data recipient. So in our project, we are interested in all of these factors of data disclosure and we want to find out if they vary cross-culturally. In this project, researchers have been studying various legal systems and cultural dimensions. They have been studying the cultural setting and regulatory frameworks in the EU and in Switzerland, the US, Brazil, China, Ghana, Japan and Russia. Based on their findings, the team has been formulating recommendations for action to be taken at national, supranational and international level. The researchers have also been developing cultural parameters that influence the decisions at the level of the individual in various contexts. In the process, they have learned that when we decide about data disclosure, the trust we have in companies or authorities receiving our data often matters more than the benefits. But we don't always give it a lot of thought. Instead, we take the decision based on cognitive or effective cues. We agree with the cookie selection quite spontaneously, without first reading the terms. A lot of things happen between the abstract law and the individual decision of data disclosure. So, for example, individuals ask themselves, do I really know the law? Do I know what rights are granted to me? Do I know how those rights can be enforced? And what we observe is even if individuals can't really answer those questions, they have a kind of abstract sense of being saved, for example, in context of the GDPR. And we are trying to understand how this abstract sense of being of feeling safe influences those data disclosure decisions. And the related question is how to develop and design digital business models if you are as company aware of the fact that some individuals really feel safe in a certain area, in a certain space, and other customers um, are kind of scared of providing personal data. In other parts of the world, 
perhaps in the United States, people might prefer not such a high standard of data protection, but rather a greater variety of choice and the possibility to monetize their data. And in, other f in even more remote parts of the world, such in, in communitarian societies in Asia or in Africa, people probably do not share these, this individualistic approach to data protection that we have in, in the EU and in, in Europe. And if different cultural settings collide, of course we have a problem. And the problem gets bigger because in a digitalized world, as the data protection world is, um, the problem is ubiquitous. It's everywhere, but regulation is still local and you can't solve legal problems if the solution layer is smaller than the problem layer.